Hey guys, so today we're going to have a look at a sweeper with a ninja attached to it. So that's just a perfect example of one right there. So let's have a look. So we've seen plenty of times a regular sweeper and the setup is exactly the same. Two middles in the play the ball and we want to be sweeping to the side that the middle's making the touch. Okay, so in theory, he'll come around here and get a three on two. So these two defenders will be defending their man. However, there's someone that's ran around from this side of the field onto the other. That's the whole basis of a sweeper. So defense, what you do is you have to see that sweeper coming and make sure you cover that side. So you cover this sweeper, make sure he doesn't get around you. That way your defenders can man on to the short side. Pretty simple. So what, def ah, sorry, what attackers are doing now is they are countering by running back to the open side. Now you can see the defender here, he's pulled corner, which means he's run to the short side, anticipating the sweeper. But what the ball carrier from dummy half has done, he's run this way, which causes the saving middle. Okay, I've got to turn, that's my man, I have to turn and chase him. Now if you run laterally enough from dummy half, which means a lot of people pick up the ball and run straight into that player, that won't work because if we're throwing an inside pass, he can basically touch both of you. So he runs almost laterally as a diagonal. You can almost run towards the corner or the, if there's a corner post at the try line, you can run towards that. So you can see that this middle has gone this way to pull corner. This middle has now decided he needs to chase the dummy half and the sweeper has curled around into this space. Okay, so it's a little inside pass. Some people call it a boy um, or a ninja. Um, I call it either one. We could all, a sweeper trail is another one. But basically, they're just taking the space in between the middles that's opened up for them. So dummy half runs into the line. Very important to run into the line. If you throw the ball too early, this guy will just make the touch. So he runs into the line, throws, and it's just an easy put down. By the time he's recovered, um, it's a little bit too late. And there's the try. So the next example we've got is actually the same play, however it's defended. So let's just watch it first. Now the attack has done everything right here. They've got the inside shoulder and they've swept around to the side of the middle making the touch, which is fine. The middle has pulled corner, which is again fine. Uh, we picked up and we've taken the dummy half, uh, the dummy half's angled that way, taking this defender with him. That's all fine. Everything's the same here, except you can see the pivot from this defender now. As soon as that ball's taken off this way, he's pivoted like he's either on a skateboard or a surfboard. He's just shuffled his body around to the other side and he can now recover. There's the inside pass. He's ran into the line, which is fine. This player's running the hole. However, the Sharks defender is able to recover and that's a, a very, very good touch. That's very good touch. That that probably could have been 50-50, whether he called a try or not. So that's just the difference there when you when we talk about um, defending on a surfboard. That's what we mean. We're just covering those those inside passes. So now, when we see... This, so this is the same game. You'll notice it's the same game. It's the same group of players. And they've noticed that, hey, we've just tried to run our sweeper with a ninja. It's been defended. So this is a more advanced play that you can do if you're probably... Um, you want to be a really good youth team or a an adult team. I wouldn't do this to 12s, 14s. Uh, probably a little bit too advanced for them. Uh, it's the sweep and ninja with a backdoor runner. So you do this when um, teams are defending, like on a surfboard, very good, and they're, being, they're recovering your inside pass. So let's have a look. There's the inside shoulder, sweeper coming around, and he curls around like this. Okay, to take the inside runner, we want this defender to chase with him. And as you can see, excuse me, they've pivoted. They've defended that inside pass again, um, which is perfect. That's what you want them to do. But what the, the attacking team has done, this is the player that dumped the ball. Let's watch his movements. And he's out the back door. And it ends up like a blocker. So this sweeper that's come around, which is this player here, he'll run in between those two middles. 
all of a sudden get this middle interested in making the touch on him. However, it's not an inside ball to this player. It's a rip pass to the person who dumped the ball who's now angling around the back, almost like a passive line, really. It's a bit shallow, but I guess you can call it similar to that. And there's the pass there. So now he's running this way. And the poor toucher had to pull corner, turn around and pivot, chase the inside ball, and there's no way he's going to be able to re-pivot himself to chase that sweeper around. So that's why we do that play. And as you can see, the finish is the link just chopping a hole. So we'll go through it. I have to play it in slow motion. We do have another clip of this I'll play in full speed, but this is slow motion. Otherwise, the video gets stopped with the lines and it's around the back like that. So the people that ran this, I've heard it called a red belly before, um, but in, all, in essence, it's just a sweeper ninja with the back door and there it is run at speed by the QSST, which is the girls under 18's Queensland team. So there's the sweeper coming around. I'm about to sneeze, hopefully I don't sneeze. She gets this middle here who pulls corner. The sweeper will curl around. So you can see the number 30 in there, she's pulled corner. This player's now got to chase the dummy half who's gonna run in laterally. Hoping now that the number 13 pivots her body and chases for that inside ball, which you can see she starts to do now. And just as she pivots, you can see her actually making contact with this player. They've thrown the back door pass. All right, and now it should be a three on two. This person will have to crash, this person will have to crash, and usually it leaves the winger open unless they don't react. But there it is, the winger's open. And that is a sweeper with a, with a ninja. So the first video, that's what I'd start teaching some younger teams. Uh, you have a sweeper option and then you add the ninja on top of it as well. Uh, and if you are a more advanced team and think you can handle the, um, the backdoor as well, that is a great option. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.